Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. Today I am having Galaxy S5. The variant that I have is the Japan Docomo Galaxy S5. A request came for the Docomo S5 to search a custom ROM. And after searching, I have finally found Galaxy S9 ported ROM for the Galaxy S5. Not only for the Docomo, but all the rest variant of Galaxy S5 are supported. Now here I would like to ask if you did not subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and subscribe it and stay up to date with my multi-technical videos. And thank you to those who already did that. I have flashed this S9 ROM on Docomo Galaxy S5. ROM is working fine but I would like to say something about custom ROMs. Custom ROMs are custom development. There are a high and professional level of developers team that used to work a lot on particular custom ROM series which include Lineage, CR Droid and many more like that. They are too good and too fast sending or uploading the updates after getting knowing about the errors or bugs in their custom ROMs. And few are like using the porting of ROMs as a hobby or a flashaholic who port custom ROMs for the device that they currently using it to get or to have a change and porting custom ROM or fixing the bugs and errors require quite a long time. They do the fixing after when they get free time. So what I am trying to say that do not rely on custom ROMs that it would be perfectly stable and will work like stock ROM. I personally love to have custom ROM on devices that I use because custom ROMs have many different applications and options that cannot be found in stock ROMs. This S9 ported ROM for Galaxy S5 was checked by me for a week and it worked quite well for me. Just like I said sometime custom ROMs behave badly and gives errors but my advice to restart the device like after 2 or 3 days to make custom ROM to run smooth and stable. Built-in applications are running freely without any lagging. Games that I installed on this ROM was checked by my son and his response was good. He said all the games that were installed runs quite good without lagging. After flashing this ROM, you gonna see the Android version is Oreo but as per the developer that the ROM is not actually Oreo, it is themed to look like Oreo. And after flashing, S5 is looking like having an Oreo updated ROM. Sometime, but not very often, you will see few applications take few seconds in opening. But this must be the heavily S9 ported apps or the themed. But we all know Galaxy S5 is old and thanks to those who keeping the S5 alive in 2018. I make a clone of Facebook and Facebook Messenger with the help of application that I downloaded from Play Store name App Clone and they both work so good. Now about the battery. If I compare it with the stock ROM, then battery timing on this ROM is not that good. Like after fully charging it, battery of S5 will take one full day using social applications and calls plus SMS with time by time. The developer of this ROM still working to make the ROM more stable and run smoothly without even the minor bugs but working is little slow but the hope is still high. This ROM support many other languages. Quite a long list there if we go to the language setting and we can change it whatever we need. There is no change in storage capacity. 
Tokomo device used to come with 32 GB storage and will be remain 32 GB. Rest of the variant will be same. So no change in storage after flashing this ROM. A perfectly working front and a rear camera with a perfectly working gallery. Rest all the things that we require to use on daily basis so working absolutely fine which are outgoing and incoming calls, receiving and sending SMS, data like 4G, 3G and many more. NFC will not work on Docomo S5. There is some issue with the NFC in this ROM with the Docomo S5 variant. The error of NFC stop working was popping up again and again. So I have delete the NFC APK files from the ROM file to make this ROM work on Docomo Galaxy S5. And I pretty sure that the rest variant of S5 will be good with NFC. So if you are a flashaholic and you want to have a change on your Galaxy S5 then you may try this S9 ported ROM on your Galaxy S5. And if you find ROM not working that good for you then you may restore your backup ROM. I always mention that do make a backup of your data plus your current ROM always before flashing any new custom ROMs. So those are lucky who have the devices that can be flashed with custom recovery and custom ROM to make a change or to have a change like the way we want. Enjoy the flashing and enjoy the custom ROMs. Take a good care of yourself and of your device. We'll see you in next video. Till then, goodbye.